the buzz. We have a great topic today. We're talking about whether you're the right age for things. Mm -hmm. So joining us today are Marlon Page, a technology strategist. Wow. I don't know what the red founder of Sisters Code, Blaine Fowler, the host of the Blaine Fowler Morning Show on 96.3 WDVD. And we want to welcome the founder of Detroit by Design to our panel today, Rich Rice. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. Very stylish with the, the red bow tie there and the matching Appreciate glasses. It. So tell us a little bit about, about Detroit by Design. Well, Detroit by Design uh, produces experiences and engagements for our clients. Um, nonprofit organizations, creative enterprise, and also for individuals. So we pretty much put on events that have kind of special desired outcomes that we help mm -hmm. Curate. clients create. And Curate. they're kind of fly, yeah. I have to say. I, I might have been yeah, in one or, one or two, two but I'm sure. saying. You want to have fun and be wowed when you walk in? This is the guy. So the other day I was online and I took this quiz to find out whether I'm an old. You know how the young ones say they call us the olds? <laughs> um, I'm too old to get that. There you go. The millennials say they're all yeah. the olds. They don't know. Oh, the olds, they don't know. Well, I took this quiz and it turned out I was young. So does that mean that I should be, you know, sporting sweet kicks and, and skinny jeans? I mean, I mean, Larry Pow. was wearing. You I get in, I'm not the right age for Tim's, but I'm wearing them. Yeah. Exactly. What's the right age for Tim's? Huh? Uh, is there a right age for? Right. I think you can wear Tim's forever. I mean, they're utility boots. You know, it's snowing outside. I was told that this is for high school kids, mm -hmm. and that's it. Who said that to you? Someone really young? Someone, actually, my son. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so seriously, do you guys think that there should be an age limit on things? I don't think so. Well, okay. Some things, yes, but if we're talking about boots, mm -hmm. no, of course not. All right, so you know, what about wearing your hat backwards for a guy? Mm. Some of us might I'll be let a guy guilty. take that. Mm. Rich, what do you think? <laughs> you know, I think people should be able to dress how they're comfortable. Yeah. And there's always kind of the, the work thing. You know, you need to mm -hmm. worry about how you're allowed to dress at work. Yeah. I think that workplaces are more productive and more successful when they allow people to be more comfortable and kind of uh, be who they are so they can have more fun at work. And I went to uh, New York City back in 2012 for the Anchorman 2 premiere and oh, cool. Larry King was there. And so I was standing in line, literally right next to Larry King. He was dressed like one of the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> I really? not So did he have jeans, suspenders on? Skinny jeans, like, like not a hoodie, but darn close. I was like, you're Larry King. <laughs> You're way too old to be dressed Yo, like Yo, Jason. Maybe, hey. his, maybe his wife. Jonas Brothers, hello. Where do I go to? You're making a speech, oh. lady. Maybe and he's comfortable. I, had, I think that's, to it me, was, that's the biggest question. Are you comfortable? It was just. Plus, the difference is, is it, is it something that he wanted to wear because he liked it and he felt comfortable, or is it something that someone put him in mm -hmm. to try to make him look hip? It so that's like what the, the difference there okay. is, I think. I believe right? in you be you. I think you just said exactly. this. I think whatever it is that makes you comfortable, like, I mean, I'm on TV today. I knew I'd be on TV, yet I wore a flannel shirt. You did. What's wrong with that's, that? You, that's me. You did What's that. What's wrong with that? that? This is what I do. <laughs> Nothing this wrong is, with that. I'm, I'm a radio guy. I dress like a radio guy. The guys in the office who are dressed up like Jason, God bless them. Way to go. You do it well. And you do. You do it well. But, I, man, there's not enough money in the bank for me to dress like that. I Ow. don't like wearing And I ties. probably dress like this just everywhere. You look great. Ow. Thank you. I, yeah, I, you I, I was trying to get that compliment. <laughs> you were reeling it in. Let's, let's talk about this. What's the right away? age for partying? Uh, People say, oh, that's for younger uh, adults, uh, you know, oh, older adults. Oh, oh, 21. That's the right age? Yes. Rich? I don't sort of straight. Are we setting a Listen, limit? Or are we that's saying a that's when, what's, you start, what's, start, when you start? Oh, oh, oh I thought oh, you, you said that. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, my God. I was going to say. I'm going to be turning up until I'm 60 verb, something years old. Until I'm 80 Wait. years old. <laughs> you did you just say you're going to be turning, turning up? Turning up till I'm 80 something years old. Yes. I'm serious. Mm. Almost, why not? Mm. I, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm 47. Mm -hmm. And I party like it's no one's business. Get I it, Marlon. I'm going to have a good time. I work hard. I play much harder. Yes. And I will All right, be doing so when are we going out? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what are you like? So what's, uh, what, what, what are you doing after this show? Yeah. How what's the you... plan later? Yeah, I know. What do you think, Blaine? Is it should you chill out at a certain age? Or I what? do, but I, I I don't know what that age is. I think it's it's kind of like the whole dressing thing. You be you. Absolutely. At yeah. some point, you don't want to be the the punchline who's you know hanging out with a bunch of college kids when you're well into your fifties or sixties. Dressing like right. a Jonas brother. Yeah. Or dressing like a Jonas <laughs> brother. But at the same time, if you got friends and mm -hmm. that's what they're doing. Yeah, there's layers underneath all this stuff, right? Yeah. Your your lifestyle, the way that you dress. It's all about your personal character and your attitudes. 
and figuring out the right way to approach those things and finding the right balance. I think if you're, if you're not wearing clothes that you feel comfortable in, that's an expression of who you are, you're going to look funny and people are going to notice that. Yep. And if you're kind of partying inappropriately and you're not really mm -hmm. kind of in sync with... <laughs> it shows. Know, yeah. And it doesn't look so. good. So we've got a few more to go through, so let's make sure we like, okay. get through these. What about makeup? What's, what's the right age for kids? Um, when she's out of my house. Jason. <laughs> yeah, right? I agree with you. I told my daughter 16. 16? I think my daughter started around uh, seventh or eighth grade. So what's that, 12, 13, 14? Yeah. I think hold off as long as possible. Yeah. As long as you, possible. You don't, you don't need makeup. <laughs> and, and, and why are you wearing makeup? You should really feel beautiful about who you are. That's right. right. That's and, right. Uh, All right, let's talk. Hold off as long as possible. Hold off as long as you can. Okay, let's talk about stuff for kids. Toys and security blankets. Uh, I, um, well, she's at school, so she can't see this. I buried uh, my daughter's <laughs> pacifier. <laughs> so we have a fake rock. And I took a the fake, fake <laughs> put on a fake rock, and then she put the pacifier underneath there. And then the next day we went out and there was a magic wand that had been exchanged for the wow. pacifier. Wow. Okay. So boom, pacifier done. That was brilliant. She's that got a magic nice. wand to wave around. See, Gradual, what okay. comes after the magic wand? Um, well, the magic wand just magically disappeared. <laughs> no, she just outgrew it. I have a comforter Fantastic. that I drag all around the house. I have to have my comforter. Oh, yeah. So when we talk about security blankets and everything, I don't think you're too old. It is my thing. Do not touch it. It is my security. Yeah, so I, I, I don't think, know. I think stuff like that is timeless. Yeah. I think as long as, you know, you're not bring it with you to work. Like if I'm sitting here and live in the deed, I got my blankie. Yeah, my blanket. <laughs> then that'd be a thing. Well, guys, I don't know how to answer that question. You know. All right, so let's talk video games. Oh, can I go play my video games? Sure. <laughs> video games. By all means. Right, Some go. are for adults, and adults even play kid ones. No. Nope. <laughs> Not if there's no signal. Uh, I know. Oh, there we go. Erase high scares. No. What do you guys <laughs> think about this? Should you ever Was this an age appropriate one for you, Jason? Yeah, I am. All right. <laughs> I think this, this came out when I was a kid. This was my first uh, favorite video was the game. Bomb. Pac well, this was is Miss Pac Man. You know, yeah, Miss Pac Man was better. Wasn't it the same? Waka waka I love waka that. Song. Uh, yeah, Miss Pac Man was definitely better. I like Tempest. I liked Asteroids. Oh, oh Tempest is the best. Make it. But based on all of this, doesn't it seem like we don't think that you could outgrow video games? What do you guys think? Seriously, you can't. I, I mean, so. I'm, I'm glued to this. All right. I, think, I think sometimes we get just too grown and we don't have fun. I agree. Agreed. I just did a job for a client uh, in Japan where uh -huh. uh, they have a problem with the, the um, uh, cases of dementia for the elderly Whoa. and they're having to play video games. There you go. Sharpen the mind back up. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. video games, we all give a firm thumbs up. How you doing over there, Jason? I need a few more goes. He, all right. <laughs> he needs practice. Well, this was a lot of fun. You Thank all of you guys for being Thank here. You. Thank you. What's the buzz? That was a lot of fun. Was that fun? Can we do that every day? And yeah, have, right. have prime rib? Yes. Why not? Yes. A little more prime rib and video games. <laughs> that's that's what I call here. a party. <laughs>